Hi, this is Dr. Papelka Brown, and I'm just gonna walk you through a very quick example of how to use conditional formatting. Um, this is one of those spreadsheets that we've already discussed. Um, a kid could put their answer into the box, and if they put the correct answer to the question in the box, it turns a certain color, normally green. Um, since I'm a math teacher, I've chosen to use equations, and there is, as you can tell, absolutely nothing fancy about this particular spreadsheet at all. My intention is just to show you the basics of how it works, and then you can experiment with putting in pictures and making it pretty and all that stuff at your leisure. Um, so my first problem, I have a math problem here, it's a one-step equation. The student is asked to solve this problem and then type their answer in the box. So here's the problem, and then they're asked to type their answer in the box underneath it. Um, if I solve that equation correctly, I should get negative six for my answer. So in order to set the conditional formatting, I'm gonna click on that box, I'm gonna hit format, conditional formatting, make sure B2 is in fact the cell that I am looking at right now. And then I'm gonna click here where it says format the cell if, and I want the, it to turn green if the kid puts a six in there. So I'm gonna say text is exactly, six and by default it automatically turns the cell green but you've got other options for things that you can do again I'll leave you to play with that when you want to I'm gonna hit done so I can see that the rule has been created that cell B2 will turn green if the number six is typed into that box okay in the next one the answer to this equation would be P equals 14 so I'm gonna do format Conditional formatting. I'm on the correct cell, C2. Again, text is exactly 14. Hit done. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I just have, of course, I know the answers to all these, so I'm just going to type those in really quickly. Text is exactly. And again, there are all kinds of different things you can do besides text is exactly. I mean, more. I mean, it would keep you busy forever. Um, maybe there's gonna be something that'll better meet your needs than text is exactly. Um, I'm gonna leave that up to you to play with. Right now, I'm just kinda walking you through the basics. So again, format, conditional formatting. The answer to this one would be exactly 48. So let's double check and make sure that I actually, first thing I wanna do is hit this X up here where the conditional formatting menu is. If I hit this X to make it go away, um, now the kids, when they go to use the spreadsheet, won't see the conditional formatting and know what they need to type in the box. So make sure you do that before you save the spreadsheet with them. And I'm just gonna test this out. So the first answer should be negative six. And it did not turn green. So let's see what I did here. Format, I'll bet I, I, bet I just put a six in there instead of negative six. Yep, good grief. Be help if the math teacher knew how to do math, huh? All right, well, there we go anyway. All right, there we go. Negative six, this answer would be 14. This is why it's always good to go back and check your work, because even the best of us make mistakes. Okay, now it's all in there correctly. Now, of course, before I share it with the kids, I'm gonna hit X for the conditional formatting, and then I'm going to delete these answers. Um, then the spreadsheet is ready to share with kids so that they can check their own answers to solve the equations. And again, this is a really just super, super basic one that we just did. Um, there's tons of other things that you can do. Something you should keep in mind, in math it's a lot easier because frequently the answer is simply one number, so it's very easy to use the text is exactly. Um, if you're a teacher that is you know, using different words, you better make sure that you clarify for the kids. You know, do you want it in all caps? Do you want it in all lowercase, et cetera? Because um, if they don't type in you know, exactly what you put in, then it obviously won't count it as correct. So you wanna make sure that you give really clear directions about that. And again, um, there are lots of other options that you can do, so just have fun experimenting. Thanks so much for watching.